Hi guys, Dan here. I recently had to replace the screen on a few of phone video clips for a video project, which involved a bit of tracking. So I thought I'd share it with you on how I did it. To do it quickly and accurately, I found it best to jump straight into After Effects. Don't worry if you're new to After Effects, I'm a bit of a newbie too. But if you're familiar with Photoshop and Premiere Pro, it should be easier for you to navigate around the program. So let's get straight into it. Make sure the clip is exactly the same as the comp size and the frame rate. To do this, drag your selected clip onto the little icon to create a new composition. Make sure the clip is highlighted, click the Animation tab and select Track in Boris FX Mocha. Click the Mocha icon and this will bring up the Mocha tracking application. To keep things simple, I like to make sure I'm at the start of the clip before I begin anything. Select Create X Spline Layer Tool and what we're going to do now is draw around the area we want Mocha to track. Once we have done that, we're going to click on the Show Planar Surface tool. That will bring up another blue box. All we need to do now is move the corners of the blue box to the corners of the phone. Hit the Z button on your keyboard and move forward on the mouse to zoom in and X to move the window around so you can make sure the corners are accurate. Once we are happy with the selection, it's time to start the tracking process. Go over to the Track Cursors and select the Forward button here. Now Mocha will begin the tracking process. When it's done, scrub through the timeline to make sure you're happy with the results of the tracking, then click the Save tab on the top left of the Mocha window and close the window. Next, create a new solid and call it Screen. Highlight the phone clip, go up to the Effects Control again and drop down the Tracking Data tab on Mocha. Click on Create Track Data, select the layer we worked on and click OK. Then on Layer Export 2, change the selection from None to the previous solid we created, then apply the export. This has now added all the tracking data to that solid object. Now click on the solid, right click and pre-compose it, call it Screen. Make sure Leave All Attributes is selected, click OK. Go over to the Screen Pre-Comp. Drag the footage or image you want to put on the phone above the solid in the timeline. Right click and fit to composition. I know it looks weird at the moment, but go back over to the main sequence and you will see the screen has now been replaced with your new selected clip. But wait, what happens when the hand gets in front of the screen? Yes, it will go behind the screen and break the illusion. Don't worry, we're going to fix this. Highlight the phone clip and duplicate it with Command or Apple D. Move that duplicated clip to the top of the timeline. All you need to do now is key out the green to reveal the bottom layer. Now, in an ideal world, I would highly recommend, if you can, to film another take of the phone with a green screen. This will make life so much easier for you in post when replacing the screen, especially if you're working with an iPhone that has that dreaded notch on the top. I found this out the hard way. If you're using a non-green screen clip, you're going to have to use the rotoscope tool to mask out the digits that go over the screen. This could be a lot more time consuming, but to do this, duplicate the original clip, make sure it's on the top layer, double click the layer and select rotoscope brush. You will then need to carefully select the thumb or finger and make sure it's tracked correctly. Once you're happy with the rotoscope tracking, click back over to the main comp and you will see the rotoscope has masked the thumb over the screen. When using a green screen version of the shot, you can set that to the top layer in the timeline, add the ultra key effect, and then you're sorted. Totally skipped all that roto brushing hassle. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.